Late Night with David Letterman premiered in uh, 1982 when I was 18 years old. And like a lot of young men of my generation, and young women, but a lot of young men, I was very obsessed with that show. It started with an image of a, uh, the opening titles had an image of an office building with a light in the window. A friend of mine has commented that it really represented the show because it really seemed like that show was about these crazy young people just taking over the network after everyone else had left. I loved the show, and I was not in professional show business at this time. I was a sort of uh, young slacker goofball uh, living in New Jersey going to community college. It was February of 1983 that I got tickets, uh, and I was very excited. Uh, first time I'd ever been in a TV studio, uh, much smaller than it looked on TV. The show started, and Letterman came out, and he started his monologue, and he started to tell a joke and I had seen the show the night before, and the night before he had started to tell this joke, and he'd stumbled on it, and then just moved on. He'd never finished it. So tonight he starts to tell the joke again, and something happens, and he stumbles on it, and he went, oh damn it, this is the second night in a row I tried to tell this joke, and uh, I just can't get it. And he took a beat, and I, this young 19-year-old Letterman obsessive in the audience, suddenly realized this was my moment. It all happened very fast. And I said, can I try it? And there was another beat, and then Letterman laughed. And he went, yeah, yeah what the heck? Come on, come on up here. And uh, everybody cheered, and I got out of the audience, went down, and stood on the stage next to him. And the first thing that really struck me was how tall he was. Then the joke was something to the effect of how the New York City Parole Board it had a lottery system, and the punchline was uh, inmates could win a chance at a brutal crime spree. And that was the joke. So I just kind of read the words with a slightly italicized awareness. You can win a chance at a brutal crime spree. And I realized the whole thing was really very awkward, and so as a sort of save, I then did a kind of fake laugh and patted Letterman on the shoulder. I kind of went, <laughs> and gave him a little pat, and then Letterman did the sort of, why don't you just go back up there and deal with you. I, I don't know that something like that would happen on the Letterman show today. Uh, quite understandably, the show is just, it's not this ramshackle, do-it-yourself, improvisational thing that it was in the early 80s. It's more of a contained institution. And I don't think a young man would have the same obsessive feeling about Letterman today. <laughs>